New details emerging tonight about the aircraft involved in Sunday's deadly Ethiopian Airlines crash. President Donald Trump now joining several countries around the world in grounding that type of aircraft. We're talking with our local aviation expert and checking into what that means in Jacksonville and around Florida. All of those planes are grounded effective immediately. President Trump ordering the immediate grounding of all Boeing 737 MAX 8 and 9 jets Wednesday. Any plane currently in the air will go to its destination and thereafter be grounded until further notice. The president referred to new information in the investigation of Sunday's deadly crash. This Ethiopian Airlines wreck killed all 157 people aboard. The same kind of jet crashed in October, a Lion Air flight crashing off the coast of Indonesia and claiming 189 more lives. I believe the similarities are that the airplane took control away from the pilots. The pilots didn't understand what the airplane was doing and were powerless to prevent a crash. News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth has been monitoring both investigations and the new revelations Wednesday. We found out some U.S. pilots filed anonymous complaints about the Boeing 737 in recent months. One first officer saying the aircraft pitched nose down after autopilot was engaged. We saw long lines in the Miami airport and asked Booth about the impact of this presidential order on Jacksonville's airport. I don't think you'll see much of an effect. There were a limited number of these airplanes in service here in the United States, here in Jacksonville, just Southwest Airlines and American Airlines uh, had them. They didn't fly them into Jacksonville. I think it'll be a negligible impact on U.S. air travel. The FAA would not speculate on how long the grounding will last. The acting administrator saying new information aligned the Ethiopian flight data to the Lion Air incident. A satellite company disclosing that they provided requested data on the Ethiopian plane's flight position to authorities. More than 45 countries and 26 airlines across the globe have now grounded these uh, 737s. Be sure to tune in to the morning show tomorrow. News for Jack's aviation expert Ed Booth telling us the long-term impact for the airlines who use those aircraft. That's at 7.15 tomorrow.